Hello there traders and welcome to another update on the market. Uh, for today I decided to cover Australian dollar versus US dollar. I will speak about the gold market, uh, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with Australian dollar versus US dollar first. So basically what else? So alerted you in my previous forecast is that I saw the breakout and there is a uh, this like a drift pattern or a slow pattern. So market was basically going sloping upside after the already strong impulsive move. So we kind of extended here. We saw the divergences, free pushes up and then the sell off started basically a few days ago. That was initial sell off. Um, last two days, basically, we traded and uh, made another but smaller uh, drift or slow pattern, more like a flag and got today also another breakout. So it really seems like that Australian dollar can trade lower and eventually clear the low at 0.7456 and then eventually test and revisit 0.7440 and then 0.7395 and there is also pivot low at 0.7360. So my advice is to watch for uh, selling opportunities on intraday rallies and for the downside objectives as I mentioned it, um, recently. Speaking of the gold market, so gold market is basically in consolidation. Uh, we had the basically a sell, um, a strong supply here enter the market, and gold managed to go and to towards the 1890, and then we got a rally towards the mean uh, middle Keltner line, and we can see basically there is a consolidation there. But from my perspective, we're building some kind of the, um, still like a flagging. So I expect still. For the market to do another sell-off at least to try to retest the low at uh, 1893 so i still think there is a downside potential before any further bigger rally and my advice is to watch for um, a selling opportunities around this middle keltner line and the mean well, in the background we all we had a breakout of this um, abc structure so we confirm that we have a strong downside environment there so Watch for selling opportunities um, on the goal with the first objective at um, and key pivots here, swing lows at 1894. Speaking of the crude oil, uh, crude oil basically sold off. We spoke about this potential bear flag and we basically reached the, the, the pin bar low area around the 100 mark. And mark is basically right now it's a decision um, so basically go or no go level. Uh, will the market uh, reject or will continue with the lower prices and eventually test 94.40? Uh, we need to find out in the next period. So for now, I will basically, I will, I'm flat, but we can, we need to mention there is a test of support and eventually if you see the breakout of this pivot, watch for some kind of the uh, downside continuation towards the 93 level. So that can be also one option to think about. And speaking of the Bitcoin versus US dollar, it seems like we are creating this uh, beautiful flag pattern and after the strong impulse move to the upside. Um, there is a chance that market can retest the recent swing highs as alerted you in my previous uh, forecasts. So if we don't go from here and extend from here, and, uh, you know, we might see some kind of ABC or something, you know, which can lead us to this area here and then eventually to find the buyers to kick in around 45,500. But still, uh, we're trying to make a higher lows here and we can even see the basically some upside in continuation form here. Now we are pretty flat and market is trading pretty flat, but we'll see. Either we go from this area here and try to recontinue with more upside and eventually to revisit the swing highs at 51,900, or we try to retest the low, um, previous swing highs first and then eventually basically rotate to the upside. So definitely watch for the upside continuation on the Bitcoin versus US dollar. That will be all for today. I hope that you did enjoy. Uh, have a great day. Uh, trade safe as always and see you tomorrow morning.